Greetings. Thanks for joining me again today for another video. Today what I want to talk about is this Case 580C loader that I purchased. I have a video out there if anybody's interested in watching that. It gives the backstory on this particular machine. It's called Case 580C Loader. Should I buy this? Question mark. Part 1. At the time that I bought it, the left brake was hanging up and there was absolutely no way possible for me to get it to move forward. With a little bit of tapping on the brake, I was able to free it up and then it froze up. Then after that, I ended up in part two of that series, pulling it forward with a different tractor and that freed it up so I was able to remove it from the property that I bought it at. In this particular video, I'm going to just experiment with this. I have no idea what is wrong with it and I did find out eventually, you'll see that in the video, that it was the brake, but it was a certain part of the brake and that's what's really interesting about this is anybody can do this. It's not that difficult and if you take it apart first you'll know just what parts to order instead of ordering all the parts right away and then not knowing if you need them. So. I want you to know I loosened up these uh, nuts and bolts that are holding this, I call it a brake housing on. I used a 7 8 wrench socket 12 point to try to remove one of the bolts and it actually wouldn't come out all the way. That was not a necessary bolt for me to remove. So the other bolts that are on this housing are all 3 quarter inch. So if you're ever going to do this and you come across this, it's a 1979. I'm not sure what other models of Case 580Cs have the same brakes. But if you ever come across this, this 7 8 bolt did not need to be removed. I believe if you're watching this video right now, you'll see that I'm trying to get that out and I can't get it out. The other ones I broke free with a breaker bar and a uh, 3 quarter inch socket, 12 point half inch drive everything worked just great I didn't snap anything off so I'm going to speed this up now until I just about get the brake housing off and we'll go from there